New monthly events started in Red Dead Online, the snow is gone, which is a good news for many players. But remember how last week we voted for Red Dead Online in the best support nomination and it won? It was a nice joke, very good trolling, but apparently Rockstar saw it and was like, Hehehe, <laughs> funny, now it's my turn to joke. Because this monthly event is not simply the worst in a long time. Many bonuses and discounts look like trolling, they make no sense at all if you understand how this game works. There are a few good bonuses and discounts for beginners actually, plus few limited offer clothing items are returning to the game, but most, well, you will see it yourself. But before we will begin, let me tell you at least some good news. Apparently Rockstar started to work on a patch again. We can see an activity on SteamDB, so they are working on some patch. I don't know if this patch is only for PC to fix recent problems and issues, a lot of recent problems and issues, or it's for all platforms and they are finally planning to fix stable glitch and stuff like that we will see later but at least they are doing something but now let's take a look at bonuses and discounts first of all there is a 40% discount on all repeaters just like in a previous month and just like in a previous month I suggest you to purchase Lancaster it's the best choice next we have two discounts for beginners and for beginners only on bow and arrows and on fishing rod and lures it's 50% off but these items are super cheap, so only beginners will care about this discount. And at stables you will find a discount on gypsy cob horses and on mustangs. And this one is probably the best discount, because mustangs is the best choice for beginners and with 30% off it's completely affordable, so even on the lowest levels beginners will be able to purchase an extremely good horse. There is also a discount on all coats, corsets and gloves, plus from gas you can purchase gas garment sets and trinkets with a discount. It's mostly for high levels, but still a decent discount. Unlike the next discounts, for example small game arrow pamphlet, like who even uses these small game arrows anymore? You need them if you for some reason don't want to ruin the carcass quality of a squirrel and like nobody cares. Then discount on potent predator bite pamphlet, another waste of time, there is no reason to craft and use them. Bites don't spawn you animals they only attract animals that already spawned and you just haven't found them yet. But the biggest disappointment is the main discount of this month. 5 gold bars of a sample kit, which is a naturalist roll basically. And yes, it's a month of a naturalist roll. But anyway, there are two big problems with this discount. First of all, naturalist roll is a roll that people want to buy the last. With any discount, it's just not a very good choice for beginners. Players should rather spend their first gold on bounty hunter or collector roles. And naturalist is a role for players who already have all the other roles. And because of that don't have many problems with money or gold anymore. But the second problem is, naturalist role is pretty expensive, it's 25 gold bars and 5 gold bars off are not changing much. That's why usually when there is a month of a naturalist role, Rockstar gives 10 gold bar discount, not 5. But you might say, well, since it's a month of a naturalist role, maybe it may Makes sense to buy it even with such small discount because you know payouts will be increased as well this month. Well that's the biggest part of a joke as you will see later but first let's take a look at free items and bonuses. Just for logging in anytime this month you will receive a reward for free honor reset which is absolutely useless unless you have neutral honor and because of that cannot progress in Red Dead Online's story. Also for logging in you will receive weight gain and weight loss tonics. Only weight gain tonic is kinda useful because with higher weight you receive less damage in Red Dead Online. Then for selling an animal sample to Harriet you will receive a treasure map. For selling 5 samples before February 5th you will receive black and silver morning tail coat. For completing a round of wildlife photography you will receive a reward for 5 legendary animal pheromones. And for completing an animal sighting mission you will receive an offer for 40% of a novice or promising naturalist troll item. What? You don't care? Well, that's a shame, because Rockstar's employee really tried to make you laugh. But maybe next rewards then? For hunting or sampling a legendary animal, each week you will receive following rewards. An offer for 5 gold bars of a Vitalism Studies pamphlet. <laughs> pamphlet. That's a really sophisticated humor, because you know what? Animal transformation was not working in Red Dead Online for years for most players 
flares in the public lobbies is just broken. Anyway, next week there will be a 40% off an established or distinguished naturalist roll item. On the third week of the event there will be black and red charo jacket and on the last week of the event beige raccoon hat. What a useless bonus is you might say. Well, wait, you haven't seen extra payouts yet. By the way, as always, there is a free community inspired outfit, so claim all the items in a catalog. It looks like this and well, it's fine. And also two limited offer time clothing are returning. Furred gloves and Calhoun boots. Not much. And now let's take a look at the extra payouts. First of all, there are triple money for selling fish to butcher and this one might be a decent for complete beginners. But even with triple payout, it's not like a huge money making method. Plus, beginners need gold more than money to buy first rolls and by fishing you're not gonna make much gold. So yeah, next bonus will be better for beginners. Double money, experience and gold for featured PvP series. This one is actually the best bonus of this month. But it's nothing special. Pretty much every month we have double money and gold for featured PvP series. And then we have a lot of weird extra payouts. First of all, double money and experience for wild animal skills challenge and for fishing challenge free roam event. Not gold, by the way, only money. And even with this bonus, payouts in these activities are pretty meaningless and people are doing them not as a grind, they're doing them just for fun, so this bonus is not gonna change anything. Also, we have a double money and experience for wildlife photography free roam event and it's pretty much the same story. By the way, I'm pretty sure that they choose specifically this free roam event because there was a similar event added to GTA Online recently. So instead of bringing cool stuff like heists from GTA Online to Red Dead Online, Rockstar decided to bring boring stuff like photography free roam event from Red Dead Online to GTA Online. But anyway, the main bonus of this month is double money and experience for naturally sample sales. And it sounds cool, right? Twice more money from naturalist troll. But the problem is, if for some reason you want to make money with naturalist troll, you don't really make money from selling samples to Harriet. Most of the money you get from trading stamps. So there is uh, animal collections, you sell all the samples of this collection, you receive a stamp, then trade it in and receive money. A lot of money comparing to the amount that you get from selling samples. For example, usually for selling 14 mountain and grassland habitat samples, you get $33 from Harriet. And for trading in the stamp, you get $140. And as you already guessed, double money are only for selling samples, not for trading stamps. So this bonus is completely pointless. You only care about it if you are selling legendary animal samples, which again is not much of a money-making method and you would rather use them to get materials for creeps. Anyway, as you can see, most of the bonuses in this monthly event were either made by person who completely don't know how Red Dead Online works or is just some sort of a troll and I don't even know which is worse. On the other hand, if you simply want to reach level 5 in the naturalist role to purchase wilderness camp, it will be much simpler now. And by the way, if you want to know how to level up naturalist role as soon as possible, I suggest you to go and check the video that you can see on your screen now. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay safe, stay healthy, goodbye.